I've been thinking over the last couple of days that when Fernando does come back to Renault in 2021, it won't just be as a racing driver, as weird as that sounds. I think there's a longer, broader view here. And I think possibly in the background, there is a Flavio Briatore or a Bernie Eccleston or members of that group putting Fernando in a position where if Renault begin just to supply engines, this will be a whole new look team around the Alonso name. I think Fernando is refreshed from his break. He's won Le Mans twice. He's done Indy, he's done off-road. But I think he's also really enjoyed nurturing his karting team and bringing along young drivers and working in other forms of motorsport. And I think for him to do a Formula One team is the logical next step. If he does it on his own, probably it'll end in tears a little bit along the lines of what happened at Ferrari when he went to Ferrari just expecting the team to be great and to go along and win world championships for them. What he didn't do is what Michael Schumacher did, which was take good people from the Renault team as it was then to Ferrari with him and work with them, put that whole new team together. Fernando didn't do that. So you can argue that if he's left on his own to his own devices, probably the same thing would happen again. But if he does have that whole Flavio Bernie machine behind him, the support group, then it will be something spectacular and something worth watching. I don't think, I don't really have any evidence that this is definitely taking place, but in my view, there probably would be some sort of option in place. And I think by mid-21, you will see either they're going to go forward in that direction, that the Flavio group has got the money to make it happen, and they'll use Renault engines, but it'll become an Alonso, Briatore team, whatever you want to call it, or they won't. And of course, even when we do get to the new regulations, the new budget cap regulations, the more standardization of parts, even for a company like Renault, it's very difficult to justify the amount of money they will be spending, possibly just to be in the midfield. Anyway, let's see what happens there. Fernando's back in 21. That's the main thing. See you tomorrow.